Hey there. So today I'm going to um, I'm going to do a flip cup um, with black, um, bronze, and red. The um, black I'm using is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Red is Dollar Rowney Brilliant Red. Daler, Daler, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, Liquitex Basics Copper. And I use Flood, flood Flow Troll for the pouring medium. Let's get rid of this cup. And for this paint today, um, Except for the black, I didn't need to use that much for the black, but for the other colors, for the tube colors, I used about, I say, four parts flow troll to one part paint. And for the black, I used about three to one. And then I added water uh, until it flowed, until it flowed really good. I'm not sure. There, you can see it pretty good there. So, I'm just going to start layering it in here. Oh, and then after I do this, I am going to put a string through it um, without paint. So, I'm going to see how that turns out. It's an experiment. So, I've done it before, but the paint I used was very cheap, cheap craft paint, and it turned out horrible. So, okay, and I'm using for, to give it cells, I'm using coconut milk um, serum, anti-breakage -break serum for your hair. It's good for cells, and I forgot to put some in the black, so I'm just going to put one squirt in here. And... Actually, what I'm going to do is, each time I put paint in here, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, the coconut serum. Uh, try it that way. So, anyway. One drop. The bronze. Black again. I'm going to put some more black in. I'm going to arrange them a little different now. Okay. I might be putting too much silicone in. That's okay. Let's see how it goes. That's not silicone, sorry. It is coconut oil. Black again, and then I'm going to do red. I think, I think. 
think that's... Be some black. Just gonna put a little spot of this in, just a drop. I think that's enough. Give it one couple of little things like this. Turn the canvas over. This canvas is uh, eight by ten. to go get something I'll be right back okay I'm back I just had to get my little corner piece in case I didn't want to lose any on the side I think it should be fine but just in case so I'm gonna lift it I got my string ready but I don't need it yet okay I'm just gonna this cup I think I have enough mm. yeah, I gotta run away again just a minute okay I'm back I just had to go get my heat gun I'm just going to slowly move it around the canvas. Oh, this is right here is really nice. looks really cool. I don't want to lose this.
Oh, that looks pretty cool. I really like that. Just like that. Before I put string through it. Okay. I'm just going to leave that there. And what I'm going to do is just run this stick along the edges. So. So that it doesn't so it doesn't drip off too much. Okay, just gotta touch up a couple of spots. My heat gun again. Wow. <laughs> All right. So now for the string. And I wet the string first this time. Instead of wetting it with water, I'm wetting it with Floetrol. Don't ask me why, I just wanted to. <laughs> just wanted to try it. Okay, right there. Go this way. All right. Hope everybody can see all that. Yep. Just gonna let it sit while it it makes contact with the canvas. doing what I wanted it to do. Oh. Hmm. Not working out the way I wanted it. What shall I do? Maybe I should just mix some more paint drip off because it's a lot of paint on there. So, I've made a decision. I am not... Oh, I ruined that. I ruined that on that side. Let's get that off. I'm going to... 
put some red on the string. Okay. you on pause while I get the red out. I'll be back. Hello. Okay, I've got the red paint and I put my string in there. And let's see. See how this goes. A long string. Oops. All right, I'll try this again. Oops, it's a little blob of paint on the end there. Okay, let's try this again. Should work better this time. It's looking pretty neat. Okay, I'm gonna get another string. I think I'm just gonna do two flowers. Maybe three, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna do two. See how it looks. Okay, let's try and put the string in pretty quick here for you. Can't really see the bronze very well. I was hoping I could see more of the bronze, but it's not really it's only showing up a little bit over here. Okay. So I'll do it on this side over here. Dripping everywhere. Oh. Come on. All right, let's go again. That's, that's pretty cool. I've got to fix up something here. Got a clean stick. I don't 
want just big drips in there. Is there any more? Actually, that's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to put any more on there. It'll get too crazy. I'm just going to get the heat gun again. That's much better than my original plan. Oh well. bubble there. going on over here is there fix that okay I like it I'm gonna get a little closer with the camera Sorry about the glare. Try and I think it looks pretty good. Better than it started out to be. So I guess that's what happens when you not quite sure the results you're going to get. So you try and you learn as you go. Yeah, I'll just give you a better view now. Okay. Okay. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great night, great evening. Subscribe if you uh, can. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I forgot to mention that I am going to post this when this is dry um, so you can see the results on the same video. Um, okay? Bye for now. Hello. So I thought I would show you the painting dry. It uh, looks almost the same, a little bit, just a little bit different. Um, the board, I was going to show you a bit of a close-up. Uh, still a little dampish up there. The board is kind of showing through, and I don't know why that is. Um, they told me in the store that it was gessoed, so I didn't gesso it. So I'm wondering if it 
if it wasn't gessoed because uh, I know the paint was fairly thick uh, it wasn't loose at all it wasn't thin so anyway it turned out okay um, I haven't varnished it yet so it should look a little better when it's varnished I thought I would show you the dried results so thank you again for watching have a good day bye